This tutorial will show you how to run a test through the iResponse Pro system. To open iResponse, you just need to find the icon. It's in the dock, which is usually located at the bottom of the screen. When you click on the icon, four different windows will pop up. Uh, to run a test session, you'll need to go to the airport tab, which is in the top right hand corner of the screen, and you'll need to create a network. This will guide you to set up a computer to computer network, and you can give it any name you choose and click OK. Students will need to join your network. They can do this by going to the home screen of their iPod and choosing the Settings tab. From there, they will need to click on Wi-Fi, which is at the top of this example. They'll be given a list of available networks. They will need to select the network you have created. The check mark to the left will show they have successfully joined. Once they've successfully joined, they can mash the bottom button on the iPod and that'll return them back to the main page. Once all the network settings are in order, you'll need to go back into iResponse, give your test a class ID and a session name, and then click Start Session. The students will go to their iResponse app and it will bring up the login screen. They'll need to type in their first name and last name, the alias should already be taken care of, and you will need to give them the classroom ID based on whatever you've named it when you started the session. When they're done, they can click connect and they should connect to the iResponse system. On your computer, you'll be able to see the students who have logged in and successfully joined the session. Once the students have gotten successfully logged in, you'll go to the testing tab at the top of the screen and select distribute tests. Uh, from the screen that pops up, uh, in the top choices you want to select in-class test and whenever you're ready you can select the bottom button that says start in-class test. Once you start the in-class test, students will receive the following notification on their iPod. The test tab at the bottom right hand corner of the screen will show them any tests that are available to them. If for some reason they would get logged off the session, they can go back to the iResponse app, reconnect, and then use this tab to return to their test. This is what the test looks like on the student's iPod. They can cycle through all their questions by using the left and right arrows at the bottom of the screen. When the student has provided an answer to every test question, this notification will appear. They have the option to go back and review their answers or they can submit their test. The student does not have to remain in the iResponse system until all students are finished. When all students have finished their test and you are ready to give them their grade, the students will need to go back to the login screen in the iResponse app and click connect. This is probably the most important thing. Students will not get their grade. and You will not have a grade for them unless they log back in. To verify they have all logged in, refer to this screen and make sure the status is OK for each of those individuals. If it is not, again, they will not get a score. If necessary, have students tap the screen of their iPod from time to time to keep it from falling asleep and logging them out. Once all students are logged back into the system, you can click End In-Class Test and that will send the students their grade to their iPod. On the iResponse Statistics page, under the Student Performance tab, you'll get a list of all the students who have taken the test and their grade. To save you from having to write this down, you may want to hit the Command, Shift, and the number 3 button on the computer. This will take a picture of the screen and then you can email that to yourself. After your test is over, be sure to end the session in iResponse and then go back to your airport and change your network setting back to HCS Wireless. Have students return the wireless network back to HCS Wireless on their iPod as well. 
If you do not reset these wireless settings, the internet will not work on the iPods or on the laptop. If you will be using oral administration during your test, students will need to go to the music tab. On this example, it's at the bottom left corner of the screen. They will need to locate the questions that correspond to the test they have taken. They can double click on one of the test questions and it should start playing automatically. Hitting the button on the bottom of the iPod should return the student to the home screen. The music should be playing in the background. At any time, the student can double click the button on the bottom of the iPod and this will pop up. They can use the arrows on the side to cycle through which question they would like to have read to them. The sliding bar will adjust the volume. If the pause button or the music tab is clicked, the music will stop. Whenever they want to return to the test, they can click close or they can double click the button again. This has been a quick tutorial on the iResponse Pro system. Hopefully this will assist you in running test sessions in the future.